Dirty Dogger, um, you know, you guys finally get that big win. Uh, now you've got everybody back. Uh, how's it been getting all the guys back into the group uh, and getting ready for this weekend? It's been really good. It's the first time I've seen them all, so it's been fun. But, uh, yeah, great win, like you said, but uh, something that we need to build on, and, and uh, next time it's Red Bull. Yeah, a lot of people talking about the Red Bulls' big win over Miami last weekend. Uh, you know, we know the style that they play. Uh, what are you guys expecting from this game? High pressure, high intensity. They have a great quality squad, and and it's going to be really hard because I feel like in the Austin game you had more maybe space and time. In that game you're going to have uh, little time, and they're going to come really quickly. So you have to be ready and 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 attack them as well. When you look at last week's performance, obviously the team was pretty much up, up to par in everything. Uh, precise passes, uh, the finishing was there. How much of that are you guys taking into this Saturday's game to make sure you guys kind of replicate not only the same performance but get that same get a, get a, a result out of that as well? Uh, for me, I feel like like you said, it was it was a great game, but uh, there's a lot of things that we still need to improve on, uh, attacking wise, I would say, and of course defensively as well. But we had like 10 chances or something in the game, and and against uh, Red Bull, we don't have as many chances, so we need to be more efficient. Mentally, when you want to face a team that beat uh, a team that you guys face and love 5-0? <laughs> Football is a funny sport. You can lose 10-0 to uh, another team and then beat them one week later 10-0. It's uh, really nothing that we think about, actually. It's just uh, they have a good team, we have a good team, and, and we're going to go there and win that match. Last week's win was much needed. Do you kind of feel like the win could set you guys up and maybe open the floodgates and lead to many, many, many more? Definitely, 100%. I mean, uh, we're in this to win matches and in this to win uh, championships, and that's what we're aiming for, aiming for this year. I don't think we've been quiet about it, and of course, we're just going to keep building one game at a time, but yeah. What conversations do you have with Oscar after the big win with the team? And knowing that a lot of the top players were not there for that, that match, and it was still going on. Just, uh, I mean, uh, almost every team in the league had the same problem. There were a lot of players with the national team because it's a good league with good players, so it was just before the game we went into the game like we're going to win it, and after the game it was okay, we won it, now we keep going. How many? Or how important is it to have the full week to train, you know, the first month of the season? You guys are playing basically every three days. How, how much easier is it to play when you've had a full week to recover and plan for your opponent and train with your, you know, whoever's going to be in the 11 with you? Yeah, it was probably the hardest uh, 40 days in my career, I would say, because we didn't have an off day for like 40, 40 something days, and you were always like game, then you recover, and then you basically go into a game again. So, and you never got the chance to train and see the opponent and something like that. So, like we talked about as a team, it's it's important to, of course, train and, and try to do the things on the pitch, on the training pitch. That's when the, the team like connects. So, so I would say. It's really good to get a week and just you feel it is mentally also really good for the team. Dogger, obviously you guys don't play the same position, but how has it been playing with Luis Maria on the field? Uh, last Saturday, you kind of just saw it from, you know, from your vantage point, from anyone's vantage point, the way he was able to uh, drop and get the ball and really just take up so much space, basically gave, gave you a lot of space to, to make those runs. How's it been training with him and, and being able to kind of be part of that attack uh, when he, whenever he, uh, the ball's at his feet? I would say he's, he's a quality player. You can see he's played in Italy and in Spain. It's it's really funny how you can see the difference in quality when players have been playing at the highest, highest level in football. It's just something that they do differently, a little bit the touch, the the, the nutmex he makes and, and the quality he has. But uh, of course, he still, uh, like, we want him to score more goals and I need to give him more chances to score goals. So it's just a connection that needs to be maybe better. So it's it's happening. I believe he was part of that goal that where you set up Jack Glenn, where he was able to find that space, and obviously Nico, you found Nico, but then Nico found you. Is, is, is that something you guys usually run during the, during the training grounds, or is it something natural that usually happens on the field? I think it's just natural. Him and Nico connect really well. Uh, of course, Nico is a, as well a great player, but uh, I feel like it's really natural, and it comes comes really naturally. But uh, for me, it's like he's a great player, a great person, and it, it's going to connect.